Hey YouTube, it's Bethany from Uncle Dutch Farms. I'm a single mom and a homesteader and today I'm really excited to show you a bunch of mushrooms that I have growing in a big pile of straw in my garden. Come on. This is the shady part of my garden. It's not as shady as I wanted, but shady enough where I felt like I could grow some mushrooms. Check this out. Look at those beautiful mushrooms. These are Phoenix oyster mushrooms. Look at how big they are. I am blown away by how awesome this project has worked. Look at them. So, about six weeks ago, I set this up and I'm really regretting not taking the video and I'm sorry that I didn't because I would have loved to show you how I set this up. But basically all it was is layering straw and grain spawn that I had bought online and keep it watered in and then I covered it with plastic, poked a few holes in the plastic and then I watched it and about two weeks ago I pulled off the plastic because I could start seeing the mycelium growing on the top and that's really what you're looking for. There is a video here on YouTube that I watched and I'm going to link it right up here in the corner because that is the video that showed me the process and so you can watch that if you want to see how I put together my bed. But as you can see, basically all I did was I laid out a piece of cardboard and then I layered the straw with a substrate and I covered it with this pallet. All I have, I just have it kind of leaning up on this leg here, um, although to be honest, I actually think maybe it would be better if I put it on legs. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see if we're looking at it from the top, all the mushrooms are on the right side where it was more open and there's not very many mushrooms on the other side, which tells me that maybe it needs a little bit more air than what it was getting. So I think I might put legs on this guy. Supposedly, this will give me two flushes. This will um, give me these, and then possibly another flush in the fall. Side note, these would be a really great business for somebody who wanted to make some extra money on the homestead. I think oyster mushrooms go between $10 to $15 a pound, and I probably, let's see, this was about $10 worth of spawn and a half a bale of hay, maybe? is all it took and look at that I mean that's definitely a decent amount especially if you get two flushes of mushrooms and so gosh there's definitely a lot of possibility with that so for now I'm gonna harvest what I have because these are nice and big and I think that they're ready this is my first time growing mushrooms so I don't really know but I think they're ready they're huge <laughs> right um, and then I think I'm going to go get a, some more lumber and screw it onto that tube or the pallet and give it some legs and maybe get some more mushrooms going on the other side. bigger basket what do you think check that out that is a lot of mushrooms I'm gonna take it in the house and weigh it so we have one pound seven ounces of mushrooms out of about ten dollars worth of spawn so it's already paid for itself and I think I've still got quite a few more that are coming. I left some babies just in case, but again, this is my first time, so I don't really know how it's going to go. You can see there's quite a few babies that I still left that are real little that'll probably still get bigger. This guy probably could have picked. Anyway, the top is pretty dry. If you kind of dig down in, you can feel moisture but I feel like I want to add a little bit of water and then I am going to put some legs on that pallet so that I can 
keep it up off of it and then maybe have some grow out this side as well. So we'll see how that goes. So I've got my little shade table set up here and it'll let the rain go through if there's rain and I actually still need to water it. Probably should have done that before I put the rain table up or the shade table. Anyway, and probably should have used two by fours and you're probably shaking your head at how jerry-rigged this is, but I don't care as long as it's functional, it's good with me. I want to show you something. Here's a little bonus. So I went over to get some screws and stuff to make the shade table and heard a noise coming out from underneath one of my cardboard boxes. So I've got my boxes stashed. It looks like trash, but it's actually just stashed for when I do the sheet layering. Look, check out what I found. Look at what I got. It's a mama. Whoa! It's a mama. Look, she's sitting on, how many eggs is that? 13 eggs that she's sitting on. I have no idea how long she's been here. I actually have two other hens sitting on eggs right now. One of them has nine. The other one has a massive amount. So I'm going to be having a lot of babies pretty soon. Kind of funny. Anyway, just a bonus for you. All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to water this just to give it a little more moisture and hopefully get another big kind of a round of mushrooms, we'll see. And then I'll be done. Pretty cool. So because this is such an easy project for me and I didn't film it the first time around, I've decided in the spring I'm gonna do it again. And this time I'm gonna track all the costs associated with it and also track over the period of a year how much I actually get out of it so that I can get a good idea of would this be a worthwhile thing for somebody to set up a couple piles so that they can sell some mushrooms and make a hundred bucks or something like that. Um, or even a bigger, you know, operation or something like this. But this was so easy. It would even be a really easy way for kids to make money. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you thought this video was helpful and you thought it was interesting, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button and especially share it with somebody that you think that might be interested in learning how to grow their own mushrooms. So, so, so simple and just a big pile of straw. Not even actually a really big pile of straw, just kind of a medium small pile of straw actually. Anyway, thank you again for joining me and I'll see you next time.